Crazy story coming out of Wichita, Kansas. In security video, thieves are seen pulling up next to a Jackie Robinson statue. They would saw it off, leaving only the statue's shoes behind. According to the New York Times, League 42, a nonprofit, notified local police of the theft. As one could see from the video, the statue was placed in the back of a truck. It weighs roughly 100 pounds. The city is giving a rough estimate of the damages being $75,000. Currently, the police are asking for help from the community for leads and or identifying the subjects who are responsible. The footage lasts about 50 seconds and shows what appears to be the two individuals. They would go over a curb and flee the scene. A bizarre and brazen crime in Wichita, Kansas. A bronze statue of baseball legend Jackie Robinson disappeared from a park in the city. Thieves cut the 100-pound statue from its base. The sculpture of the man who broke baseball's color barrier holds a special place in the community. Tonight, authorities are searching for two suspects accused of stealing a life-size bronze statue of baseball icon Jackie Robinson in Wichita, Kansas. The statue cut at the ankles leaving only the feet behind. This should upset all of us. What troubles me even more is that the theft occurred just before the beginning of February, which marks the start of Black History Month. From the New York Daily News, prior to shattering baseball's color barrier by stepping onto a Major League Baseball diamond wearing a Brooklyn Dodgers uniform on April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson was a star infielder for the Negro Leagues' Kansas City Monarchs. He won Rookie of the Year as a Dodger and led the Major League in stolen bases during his inaugural season, which ended in a World Series loss to the New York Yankees. If you've got that statue, bring it here today, now. Bob Lutz, the executive director of League 42, told KSN, this was the heart and soul of League 42. I'm still trying to process the fact that it's gone, but we'll do everything in our power to continue to honor Jackie Robinson in this community and have the support of the community. The sculptor was John Parsons. His widow, Carol, would say, I was just, my heart, my stomach just dropped. He was so excited. He was humbled. It was the first sculpture he had actually done that was supposed to look like somebody. Lutz would say it was a process to get the statue to where it is, including the stamp of approval from the Robinson family. He'd go on the record stating, we did obtain that permission from the Robinson family to have this happen is embarrassing for our community. It's an embarrassment. Lutz would also say, there is potential of the statue being remade from a clay model, which Carol does have in her possession. However, she would obviously prefer the old model be brought back. Anyone with knowledge of the crime can contact Wichita police investigators. The number is seen on your screen. The statue had been standing in McAdams Park since 2021. Authorities are now offering a $7,500 reward for any tips. Chief Sullivan would say, once the statue is returned, we also want the individuals who robbed our community of a treasure to be held accountable for their actions. And I assure you, they will. The resources of the Wichita Police Department have been mobilized. Councilman Brandon Johnson would go on to say, it was one of the few times in life I'm speechless. This horrendous, disgusting act really caused me a pause. So again, like the chief and the district attorney said, if you've got that statue, bring it here today, now. It is a horrendous act and leaves us with more questions than answers. What is the motive? Why do this? The chief brings up that we are about to turn the calendar to February which marks Black History Month. Is that a motivation? We will wait and see. And I truly hope not only that the statue is recovered, but also that it is able to be, for lack of a better word, resurrected and put in its place. Clearly, this means so much to this community and two thieves could care less. In addition, if there are any stories that we missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, I will throw up the graphic right here. Please get at me on Twitter, on TikTok, and of course on Instagram. There are only so many hours in a day. And of course, there might be a few stories that we do not get to. So send those to me. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a good day.